and welcome back my creatures of the night I'll hurry up this is the DGB in the shed show talk you've got the Aussie dead man toad hurry and, up hurry up and that steam engine from uh, play school no, that was the blackboard oh blackboard yes yeah, it's me folks you can't even remember you can't even remember Mr. Squiggle for God's sake oh well there you go and, and uh, thank you to Ro uh, Angry Anderson for that intro too. Yeah. <laughs> I got it before you did. Damn, <laughs> folks. I know I'm getting old. Stick, that, up, stick that one in your pipe and smoke it. I would, except I'd end up being a Liberal... Uh, sorry, I can't say that. I'll get into trouble. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with being a Liberal supporter. Better than being a Labor supporter. I don't know. Not much fucking... Uh, sorry. Thank you, mate. I said friggin'. Sorry. I you, said you friggin'. Apolo you apologise, folks. I said friggin', in case anyone misunderstood. Yeah, 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 be careful, be careful, be careful. I know, we'll get into trouble if we say the wrong words. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a slap on the backside. And, uh... <laughs> love which, it. Which reminds me, um... Oh, I love it. Which reminds me of something. I've had a slap on the backside in years. Uh, I don't know if he's listening tonight, but, uh, two, uh, little What's peewee. Listen, it's grade five. Uh, I don't want to know about you, Mrs. Cunningham. Uh, well, that was, I had Mr. Long back in them days. Well, in that case, I definitely don't want to know about what you got up to is getting your backside smacked by a bloke teacher. It was weird, very weird school, race you State School. I know, I heard a few things about that place. It was even weirder when I went to Bremer High. Uh, my little nephew, Petey, Peewee, little buddy. If you're listening tonight, mate. Hey, Peter. He's drunk. I am not. I am not skunk. Uh, drunk. <laughs> I am not skunky drunk. Uh, he couldn't be. He's on radio. If you're listening tonight, mate, uh, you know the. Uh, I may be, but he's not. You know my mobile phone number. If you want me to give you a shout out, you know what number to call. Everybody knows your mobile phone number. It keeps going off every five minutes. And also, people, please remember the DGB in the Shed Show we Talk. We are not a request show. We are not a talk back show. So don't bother trying to ring up and uh, asking me to play. Listen, if, if, you, if you want to talk to someone, phone up to GB. Yeah. They're, they're open 24-7 down in New South Wales. Uh, anyway. Or, or 4BC in Brisbane. I think they're still going. This is just meant. This segment is just meant to be fun, folks. It is not yeah, meant to be taken serious. Entertain, entertainment, people. Entertainment. Yes. Thank you, Roadie Snake. Exactly. A bit of fun, a bit of a laugh, and a bit of joke. Because we all need a little bit of a laugh and a joke, especially in these times, folks. Because you know, the madness coming out of Brisbane is just getting more and more ridiculous. Anyway, enough of that garbage. Yeah. Let's get on to something for the younger generation. Well, you mean Generation Y? Why were they born? Yeah, that generation. And the Millenniums. Oh, God, crikey. I want to talk about... Well, oh, don't yell it. I'm only sitting here. I can hear you. I'm, I'm saying this for the people who are hard of hearing that listen to the show. Listen, we're not, we're not, we're not in a car and you know, 300 miles away from where, are you, where I'm sitting in the passenger seat. I want to talk about... Well, most of them do. Superheroes. Which one in particular? I want to talk about, uh, to start off with... There's a superhero. I know, I've heard a few of them say that. I want to talk about Superman. Which one? The original one from the black and white TV series. Oh, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. The bloke who got, ended up getting killed shot. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I've actually got a couple of DVDs of it somewhere, mate. I've got a box set here somewhere, uh, unless somebody's thieved it. There's a box set in the shed? What the hell have we got DVDs in here for? Oh, jeez, I shouldn't have said that, folks. Uh, we haven't even got a DVD player in here. Now, I have noticed we've got a toilet of some sort. Yeah, I don't that, know that, arrived. that bucket in the corner is... Uh, sorry, uh, don't worry about it, folks. I said Another the dog, subject I said altogether. The dog having a drink out of that earlier. Well, don't go drinking the lemonade in the bucket toilet. You'll get a shock. Uh, I've smelled it. I'm not going to do it. In regards to Superman, folks, I am getting very annoyed with this politically correct modern-day versions they keep bringing out of Superman. Well, you keep getting annoyed about everything. I mean, yeah, uh, the, the, the one thing where you're supposed to have a bisexual son? Superman and Lois Lane 
are now supposed to be parents. One son is a bisexual, and the other son is whatever the hell he is. Well, what gets me is you see that one on TV with the two sons and they don't believe that their father is Superman. Yeah. So which one of them is the, um, you know? And they're also one? and they're also now saying which is physically impossible, folks. If you're if you study the, you know, uh, I always thought the Supergirl was Superman's daughter. No, Supergirl is Superman's cousin. She comes from the bottled city yeah, of Candor. If Superman got off that planet from his real parents, yes, where the hell did she come from? She was in the bottled city of Candor, which was stolen by Brainiac long before the planet exploded. Why are you yelling this? Because there's somebody outside looking in through the window. No, it's probably just that big foot. It keeps hanging around here for some strange reason. Now, they're also saying, folks, which is physically impossible, right? Okay, then what about that Batman? What about Batman? Well, you've got Batgirl. And Batboy, apparently. There's Batboy yeah. now. They keep trying to revitalise it and changing it to hey, suit... Hey, by the way, Supergirl is supposed to be a lesbian. I, I know, I, they've I got know. PC... That, folks? I've got nothing against that either, folks, but they should stop trying to change the characters. And uh, apparently in, in that new series, that DC Comics, uh, not only is Supergirl a lesbian, but apparently uh, Catwoman or Catgirl or something? Yeah. There's another character, the same. They're trying to change everybody into What's being. What's with this Green Lantern's daughter? Yeah, Green Lantern never had a daughter. Seriously. Green Lantern never had a daughter. This DC Th Comics has gone nothing. Which leads to the point I was making. They're oh, trying to say that. now that Green Lantern's ring has the. I beg your pardon. The one he puts on his finger, not the other ring. Ooh has the ability oh, yeah. to kill Superman. That is a complete load of garbage. Hang on, if he, if he had the power, that would be a kryptonite ring. Yeah. It, that ring can only generate whatever Green Lantern wants to imagine. It, it cannot physically manifest any type of object that could kill Superman, like kryptonite. Lucky it's not your ring, and so I've heard your ring go a certain morning. That can kill anything. My ring can kill anybody. Especially with all the, the freaking poor dog this morning. He was hitting me on you. Well, there you go. I mean, it laid him out. All I'm saying is, folks, whoever is responsible, stop well, changing you know, everything since, to be since, PC. Well, with you know, since Stan Lee died, and the other, the other creators of those things die off. Yeah, just all stop the, trying to weird, change all things. These, all these weird woke cancel culture twits, wherever the hell they come from, I don't know. I mean, I mean you know, w one minute we were living on a normal world, and then two years later we're all going, what? But anyway. Yeah, just stop trying to change things, folks. Let well, it be. The, well, that's you, millenniums, and your generation Y. And as I said before, why were you born? Um, yeah, just stop trying to change things, folks. They're perfectly you know, fine. What? what got me was when we stopped when they stopped allowing their parent the parents to hit the little pricks. Yeah, what what is it with it? And then we ended up with what do you have wandering around the streets, especially here in Mackay. Now I am gonna advocate this because uh, me I uh, certainly I won't name her name are both in agreement of this that this town needs a drop in centre for these kids. Yes. So they can go somewhere, not be bored, hang around the streets and smashing windows and everything else they carry on do. They've got somewhere to go. It can be 24 hours, 7. You can have security on there to keep everything peaceful and quiet, you know. Yeah. Now, this is something I'm trying to get out here, especially also this lady is trying to get out of here, and also, too, with the council, and trying to work with the council, and I hope they do come on board with this, because um, we really need this. We need a drop-in centre for these children, these kids that are out there. I mean, we're talking like 12, 13-year-olds on the streets, and, I mean, that's not good. Especially on this town, I mean, you've seen the trouble, people, you've heard the trouble that's in Cairns, in Townsville, all them places like that up the coast. And you've seen it all down in Brisbane, you've seen it in Sydney, Melbourne, the whole works, I mean, especially with this stuff that's been going on. Those kids have got nothing, nothing to do, nowhere to go. 
So we need to get behind this, get a drop-in centre going for these kids because they, um, seriously, they are our future. And if we just let them go to the dogs, well, what future do we have? That's my bet on that anyway, so. Okay. Um. If, 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 folks, if you have some idea or, how, what, or what you can do to help with this, uh, just take this to the council and lobby them and say, listen, we really, really need this to get up and go because there are a lot of people behind this and this is actually dead, dead serious, Dave. I know. I mean, I agree with you totally on this point, Snake. They need to have a drop-in centre for, for the youth here in Mackay. Because I've seen some of the stuff they do down around the goose ponds and hang around and everything else, and we really don't want them hanging out down underneath the bridge with the old homeless people. There's enough of them down under there as it is, and then poor buggers... They don't well, need the young fellas down, and girls down there annoying them. Well, it's not annoying them, it's a case we don't need them be joining in, with the in, in behind the line, as I would say. Yes. Getting in behind being the next generation. We need to be able to help these kids and, you know, let them sort out their things in their own way, but have somewhere they can go, hang out, off the street, you know, have some sort of, like, I don't know, pinball machines or whatever the hell kids are into these days, video games, whatever the hell they're into, you know, something they can go and do, not be bored. So have a, like a 24-hour a calf there. Exactly. I mean, drop-in centre, you can have a lot of things there for the young people to get into. Yeah, that, in that's a good what, way. That's what, that's what we really need to get into, and uh, I hope that uh, the good people here at 4 CRM can also get behind this and do something. I'm sure the President and the other committee members would be only too happy to look into that sort of thing. You know, because we, really, we need really need to do something about our younger generation and try and help them on the right path and get them off the streets at night instead of wandering around and causing trouble and chaos because that's the last thing we all need, especially in this day and age. Well, exactly, I mean this... And like I said, that's what I've got to say on this and, you know, if you if you feel the need to criticise me on this, well, go for your life, I don't care, but this is a, this is a serious issue. Exactly. And, uh... What have we got uh, lined up tonight, music-wise? Uh, we have a band called Sabaton. Yeah? They are from Sweden. Oh, yeah? Lost. Sounds interesting. No, they're not. They don't sing our music. Oh, thank God for that. I was about no, to no, say. No. These, these boys are a, uh, a rock band out of Sweden. Uh, now, I came across the I came across them actually by uh, just an offshoot chance on YouTube one night. Um... They sang a song about an Australian digger in World War One who actually sacrificed his own self to go out and uh, get the wounded in World War One. He was called Bull. Bull, uh, Bull Allen was his name. Now this guy well, actually is a real person, folks, in World War One. Um, he actually survived World War One, came back home. But uh, they sang a song about him, and they've sung songs about the Bismarck and uh, the Red Baron, all that sort of stuff. So we have uh, a little bit of a selection of Sabaton for the year tonight. That sounds interesting. So stay tuned for that, folks. That'll be coming up right after we've finished our little talk here. And I think we're just about done. Oh, thank God for that, because I don't know who's driving the truck with this uh, shed on tonight, because it's uh, I, all I, over I, the Well, place. I was uh, strangely informed earlier today that it's uh, Mum. Oh, God, it was, it was by. Yeah, she was going to plan to drop us off on the edge of the Eden Range, but anyway, she changed her mind. Well, there you go, folks. We now know who's driving the truck with the DGB shed on the back of it. The only reason was because Buddy looked at it, the Jack Russell Buddy looked at it and went, don't. Oh, you mean out my little protector? Oh, yeah, he loved you the other day when I left you behind somewhere. Yeah, folks, you left me at the showgrounds. Yeah, I figured I wouldn't have left you there. You would have fitted right in with the rest of the clowns. Uh, anyway, folks, we're going to get on to this Sabaton thing. Okay. There you go. Hope you enjoy, folks, and we'll catch us next week. Okay. Okay, folks, here it is. Stay tuned.